Hello, my name is Amanda, and I am the teacher author behind the store, Mud and Ink Teaching. Today, I'd like to share with you guys my newest product, and it's Bell Ringer Digital Interactive Notebooks for your students. So all those years that you've been assigning bell ringers and students have been writing in their notebooks, and you've had to collect their notebooks or walk around and check their notebooks, now all of that is gonna be super easy and assigned straight through Google Classroom. So let's take a look. As usual, um, I like to do a quick bell ringer at the beginning of class. Uh, my bell ringers change all the time, so I need something standard that the kids are always writing in. Enter the regular notebook. So students would see the prompt when they walk in the room, and they would need to get their notebooks out and write their response. Now, instead of having them get their notebooks out, they simply open their Chromebooks and open up their digital interactive notebooks for bell ringers. And so that becomes the place where students respond to the prompts we have. So for example, if this is today's prompt, um, which is one that I've actually used before, um, the student's job is to create a meme that is an example of something that we've read before in our Julius Caesar play, um, a summary of a, of a specific scene or a speech. The kids need to create a meme. So now I have a place for them to put everything. So let me show you the bell ringer notebook. This is the notebook for the students. Let me back up. I'm going to go to the first page for you. Okay. So the notebook looks like this. It's fully editable for students. So the cover page is really simple. It just says bell ringers. The students can personalize it. They can put their name in here um, and tell us a little bit about themselves with a picture. The directions are really clear for kids. This is something that I train them on at the beginning of the semester. And they know that when they walk into class, they open this document and they create a new slide, which is as simple as hitting control M. Then they're going to respond to the prompt that's on the screen and their responses should be clear, creative, and captivating. That's our my three C's that I ask for students. So the notebook is broken into semesters. This is semester one. And then here's a sample of what I would expect students to fill in. So the prompt title goes at the beginning, the date goes below it, and then the space right there is where students would respond to the prompt. So here's where they would actually give their answer. Then there's a section for semester two, so you can see the separation between the two semesters, uh, and then simply just a credits page. So if I'm a student, this is what my screen might look like. Let me divide this up for you so that you can see. Okay, so I have the prompt. Um, if you want to pretend with me that this prompt is at the front of the room, and I'm the student sitting here on this page. So here I'm looking at my sample. All I need to do is hit Control M and that's going to duplicate that page. If I want this exact page duplicated, I can right click, hit duplicate slide, and then that exact slide is duplicated. Now I can delete this text here. I want to copy the prompt title from my screen. So I, this one will be called Cat Memes and Julius Caesar. I would change the date here to October 13th, 2019. And then here, I would simply, here is my response, blah, blah, blah. So this is me as a student. Students now, my particular prompt asks students for an image. So once the student made their image, they would simply go to insert, um, and then pick image right here, image. They would insert the image that they created. Um, this offers up the opportunity to you to have students find a video or create a chart or find a website. They can insert links. They can insert videos. They can insert all kinds of things they find from other places, which makes the bell ringer a much more versatile, dynamic, and um, engaging type of activity. So now you can send kids to websites. You can send them to find maps. You can send them to find videos or music. And now, all the students need to do is just bring that in here into their digital interactive notebook. That's it. Now, what you have, the best way to grade this is to assign through Google Classroom. That's my recommendation. So to do that, you simply would open up your Google Classroom, click the plus button, click create assignment, 
give it a title, give it the instructions, find the actual document. So um, I don't think mine's going to work because I'm logged into two different accounts right now. Um, so I'm just going to pull up a, a random, oh boy, these are just a bunch of pictures. <laughs> Sorry guys. So I'll just pretend it's the summer reading seminar. And then here you're going to click that make a copy for each student. Then you can hit assign. Mine's not letting me right now because I think that's because I don't have a title. Okay. And you will hit assign. Once you hit assign, every student receives their own individual copy of the digital interactive notebook. It also creates a folder for you in your Google drive so that now you can see every single student's notebook saved in one place in your grade book to grade. That's it. It's that simple. The bell ringer interactive digital notebook has three different templates for kids to choose from. So when you receive the item, you'll see that there's a book version, a book style. I'll take you through quickly. There's a comic style. And then there's the post-it style that you saw earlier. These three styles are all in the same document. So all the students will receive this doc. And when I, when they decide, let's say they decide that they wanted to do the comic version, all they need to do is delete the other slides so that their remaining are just the slides in their style that they would like to use. And then for the whole semester, they're just going to keep creating new pages after new pages, after new pages, after new pages, and then they're all set. This gives you the flexibility of assigning a bell ringer every day, every three days, or whenever you want. There's no need to have something prepared or printed every single day for students. So I hope that was very helpful to you. Again, if you are interested in this product, you guys are going to search for um, Bell Ringer Digital Interactive Notebook for Students on Teachers Pay Teachers, and I hope that you enjoy it. And please share with me any of your great feedback. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.